set up here. Okay. <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Um, Vermont Works for Women is an organization that um, has established training programs to help women with barriers to employment uh, gain valuable skills so they can go out in the community and um, work towards financial independence for themselves and to help support their families. In January of 2011, we opened up a training program called Fresh Food, which is a culinary-based program where we take women um, that have either an interest in um, finding work in the community in the culinary trades or maybe they've never thought about what they'd like um, to do for work, so we're giving them an opportunity to explore this as a uh, potential. We operate Monday through Friday and it's a really nice uh, space because it's a community kitchen, so it's less about um, just having a business in here and it's more about kind of embracing the community and community needs in general. What we do specifically, we have two different clients. One client is Single Pebble Restaurant, which is in downtown Burlington, and we produce their pork dumplings. Um, our other client at the moment is Champlain Valley Head Start, and they umbrella four childcare centers in the Burlington area, and we cater their lunches and sometimes breakfast. What we're doing today is we have something called crispy chicken that we make, and it's kind of our own version of a quote-unquote chicken nugget. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble with McDonald's for just saying that. Um, but what we do is we take our own chicken and we marinate it overnight and then we're gonna bread it and get it in the oven. So we can actually start that, that process here. We make our own breading and we do a couple different versions of it. There's one version that you can do with oat cereal, or we also do it with like a flax, amaranth, um, spelt type flake cereal, depending on um, availability and also my mood. <laughs> um, this one is based uh, out of oat cereal. It also has panko, which is a Japanese breadcrumb. And then we season it with a no salt seasoning and some salt and pepper. So that's uh, one part. Today we're feeding um, 75 children between the ages of 1 and 18, and <laughs> which is kind of a broad range. We make our recipes child-friendly, uh, meaning we don't overspice, but we do use spice to introduce their palates to something different than just salt and sugar. Um, we also make sure to look at the, the sodium content, so we use sea salt, but we use it sparingly and we use uh, quality oils and we use um, quality meat and vegetables and we try to source vegetables locally when we can. We're going to crack some eggs so we're actually going to separate the egg yolk and the egg white and that's going to be part of our um, chicken process. So we just want the white and it's okay for us to have a little bit of the yolk in it because we're not whipping them. Yeah. If we were whipping them we want to, we would want to make sure that it's just the white. So I'm going to let you go ahead and do that while I get this stuff wrapped up. We have a second kitchen operating this summer. For uh, the city of Winooski we contracted to do the summer food service program so we have been feeding well over uh, 250 children a day. We have two trainees in the kitchen now. So we have um, a dumpling station, and then we have the catered lunch station. And then up at the high school, we have two trainees that are just doing the catered lunch out of that kitchen. Hi, Sarah. How are you today? Nicole came to me as a novice. Um, she never really cooked much in her life, um, but she wanted to learn, and I was able to teach her how to do those dumplings, and she has mastered it, and um, I think it's an amazing accomplishment. We make the dough, and we also make the filling. We get um, whole pork um, bottom, pork butt, and we butcher it into small pieces, and then we grind it. We have a grinder attachment, um, and then we package it ourselves and make the pork filling, we season it ourselves. The recipe is, is Single Pebbles recipe, um, but the process we've uh, adopted in here. They're, they take a, a lot of patience, they're very detail oriented, and they're absolutely beautiful.
our kids love this chicken. Um, they consider it, you know, the chicken nugget, and uh, it's far better for them um, because it hasn't been deep fried for one. And we have control over what goes in the breading. So this can sometimes be a labor of love, but I'd rather do it this way than open a box and just pull, pull uh, chicken tenders already done out. We only use whole grains, so we serve brown rice and quinoa. We've served barley. Um, we do breads that are integrated with um, whole wheat flours. So we keep everything as, as healthy as we can possibly afford. And we like to do hidden vegetables in our stuff. So if you see like a chicken salad or a tuna salad on our menu, we've integrated some um, purees into it, uh, whether it's squash puree or cauliflower. Um, even their hamburgers, we make them by hand and we put in broccoli or uh, sweet potato. So we, we're just trying to pull nutritious ingredients that they might not be aware of um, so we can still kind of infiltrate them in some ways. I'm a mom, I have to do it at home, um, but I just thought it was a nice ideology to integrate into the food that we make and have it be a part of our mission, which is healthy food, um, locally sourced as, as much as possible.